to test it, don't we? I don't want my kid to be disappointed Christmas morning. Does the hair look ugly? It's fine. Three, two. Yes, the tree's already up. Um, this is actually, my mom calls it a thankmas tree. We're not skipping Thanksgiving, we're still grateful. Thankful. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be doing just a massive Christmas list. Lish, a Christmas lish. Today's video is gonna be me sharing with you some of my Christmas wish list ideas. These are things that either I'm asking for or you might like, or just things I've received in the past that I thought like were awesome. So, um, gonna make it very like that. And then, yeah, if you guys get any ideas, let us know if you have any more Christmas wish list like ideas, comment them down below. Also, just want to say, obviously, Christmas isn't about the presents, it's about Christ, but I do think this is still like a huge part for a lot of people is gift giving. So these can be either great gifts to give to someone else or to ask for for yourself. So with that being said, let's go. Number one, concert tickets. I really, really want the John Mayer tickets. He's coming to the Vivint Arena in March, I think in Utah. And I'm like, that's high priority on my Christmas list. No, like actually concert tickets are great. So search up any concerts that are gonna come to your area and that's a great thing to ask for. Roller skates. Roller skates are so awesome. My top three recommendations is either finding a, a lot of people actually custom build skates and I know a lot of people out of Utah do. So like if you kind of Google search for that, Impala skates are a great like beginner skate for indoor and outdoor. And then Moxie is like a really, really great brand, but they are a little bit on the pricier side. But those are some roller skates that are awesome if you guys want to get into that. It's a great hobby. It makes your inner thighs burn. And now I'm shredded because of it. My third thing is asking for a membership, whether it's a membership to like a rock climbing gym, a gym membership, a roller skating pass. Like you can get memberships for a lot of these places. And if you just ask your parents like, can I have a one year membership? That'd be good to go. That'd be great. New Balance 550s. These things are literally sold out like everywhere, but if you can find a way to get it, get a hold of them. That's an awesome thing to ask for. Anything from Joe West, this really cool, like awesome, sexy brand. Like not many people know about it, but Joe West is the clothing line that my sister and I have created. I love everything on our website and we have really good, I feel like affordable pieces that are not gonna break the bank and they're awesome quality. So if you need any cute clothes, shopjoewest.com. And we're launching some really, really fun pieces at around like the end of December. So kind of soonish. And there's like a really cute blue puffer coat coming. So just keep your eyes peeled for that. The puffer case, I'm going to insert photos if like I need to here, but it's, I've, I think it's by Urban Sophistication is who sells it. But I feel like I see ads for these everywhere on Instagram, but they're pretty cute. So like a new phone case in general. Lessons. So like you could ask for piano lessons, guitar lessons, cello lessons, singing lessons. This is, I think, a great thing that a lot of parents would be very supportive of just because it's like advocating for you to learn something new and it's fun. And sometimes lessons can get expensive. So it's a great gift to ask for. A film camera, like a nice one. I have the Contax T2. T T Q. The contacts T2 is the one that my sister and I have. Evelyn is the one that mostly shoots film, but it's definitely a very, very nice film camera that's on the pricier side. But that leads me to my next Christmas wish this idea, which is just like disposable film cameras. They're really cheap. You can get them from Walmart and they're just fun to have on hand at like all times. That also leads me into asking for like a Polaroid camera or any Polaroid film. Those are always nice to restock on. A calculator watch. I know Walmart literally sells them, but it's literally like a calculator and it's, it looks like a watch. It's just funny. My brothers have them. I think they're they're kind of fun. I want to get one. And then just those shark watches. I feel like a lot of people have those too. You can get your face engraved on a potato. I'm not kidding. That would be so hilarious if you actually asked for that for Christmas or if you gave that to someone. I kind of want to get one for my dad. And then you can also get your face printed on socks. There's like a lot of gimmick things like that. You can just Google like, put my face on socks or put my face on potato. Those are funny, good laugh on Christmas morning. Favorite restaurant gift card. Mine's Cubby's. Everyone already seems to know that. Cubby's, please sponsor me. You could get the North Face Nupsy Co. I think is how you say it. It's definitely a more expensive coat, but I recently splurged and got this for myself and I do think it's completely worth it. It literally like you get sweaty whenever you wear it. It's great for colder winter climates and Christmas time, winter. Nice shampoo and conditioner, specifically day shampoo is the one that I'm wanting to, I think I put that on my Christmas wish list. Day shampoo was created by Amber Fillerup, but my sister Evelyn has had a, like, I think you had the shampoo. I used it, it smells great, and my hair made my hair feel super nice. Um, Kevin Murphy are also products that are really, really nice and brioche. I have a face mask or I have a hair mask from there and my hair feels buttery soft every time I use it. So that also leads me into asking for hair masks. So then perfume, my favorite is anything from Daisy. I just love Marc Jacobs Daisy line of like anything. Um, also the Calvin Klein Everyone perfume. I did a sponsorship for them like back in February, 2020, right before the pandemic happened. I still like my family's, it, we all wear that perfume. It smells so good. A coupon book. 
a coupon book, I think this would be actually so funny, is like you make a coupon book for yourself where you ask for like, let me stay, like, like let me extend my curfew by an hour or let me skip the dishes or let me have a skip school day. And like you just like make a small coupon book and then give it to your parents and ask them to give it back to you on Christmas. So then you can be like, hey mom, like I don't wanna go to school today. Can I use my coupon? Isn't that genius? I might do that one. Glossier is specifically boy brow. Uh, I feel like anything from Glossier, they just have like really good. Glossier, Glossier, Glossier. No, but anything from Glossier, it's just a cute makeup website. New duvet covers. This is a great way to just respice up the way your room looks. Ikea has a ton of like just good cheap duvet covers. So does Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is a little bit more expensive, but they have a ton of cute ones. Tessa Collage Kit. Collage? Tessa Collage Kits. Um, this one is, I've seen Instagram ads for this for the longest time, but it's Ana Luisa is the brand and they have a ton of jewelry, but they also have like this specifically a jewelry case and it looks great for traveling. If you travel a lot and you want to bring jewelry, nice socks. Like I know everyone like jokes around that they get underwear and socks for Christmas, but like good quality underwear and good quality socks are amazing. So the ones from Costco that are like really nice sweats like good quality sweats. I feel like if I'm not dressed up nice, then I'm in sweats. Like immediately when I get from school, I go back to sweats. So I think investing in a good quality pair of sweats, like ones from like Aritzia or um, what's the other brand that's like really airy. Like they have like a lot of cute quality sweats. Um, just a new pair of pajamas. I sleep in probably like the stinkiest clothes possible, but maybe no more once Christmas comes. Maybe we'll get new pajamas. And maybe Joe West is launching some pajama inspired pants sets and shirts. Maybe, I don't know. Asking for a journal edition Book of Mormon or Bible, just in general, if you are religious, like those journal edition scripture study sets are so stinking nice. And I feel like they just really elevate your study because you can take notes on the side. It's just great, so. Electric toothbrushes, those things are nice. I don't even know if I've ever owned an actual electric toothbrush, but maybe now's the time. Teeth whitening strips from Crest. I know that these sometimes hurt a lot of people's teeth, but like if you get like the gentle 30 minute ones, those are just nice to brighten your smile, brighten your day. App memberships, so like ones for Netflix, Disney Plus, Plus Spotify, just asking for memberships in general. You can get a massage. You can ask for that. You can ask for anything from Set Active. Set Active has like a ton of cute workout clothes and they're like my favorite clothes to work out in. They're such good quality and I think that's always fun to open up. A new thing of workout clothes because I feel like that inspires you to continue working out. So that is pretty much everything on my Christmas wish list that I could think of. I'm not asking. That's everything I'm asking for. That'd be ridiculous. No, but I feel like those were a lot of the ideas that I came up with that I thought weren't like lame and that actually like could be useful for everyday life so i hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did give it a thumbs up if you got inspired on what you're gonna ask for for christmas let me know if you have any other new ideas also comment those down below because we could all use some help when it comes to asking for christmas lish lish i cannot talk um i feel like mom literally asked for a christmas wish list like literally back in july She's like, hey guys, I'm trying to plan for the holidays. Like, what do you want? And I'm like, you're so nice, but I have no clue. So that's why this video is supposed to help. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Catch you on the flip side. Totally let me know if you guys liked this video or if you have any other video suggestions. I feel like I haven't been doing as much fashion videos just because I do feel like Joe West has been very, very time consuming in that aspect. And so I haven't been making very much fashion related videos, but if you guys want me to make more, I can, we can switch things up on the channel and I can make more of those videos. Just let me know what you want to see from me. Make sure to also follow me on Instagram at Marla Catherine. All these like really cool people do. So you should too. I'm not trying to manipulate you. Well, I, I feel like it's in a show and they're like, is your eye twitching? You're like, no, I've got nothing else to say. So bye. Bye.